let's consider a simple website here called as www.yoursite.com now this website has a simple products page here uh, and this products page is visited by regular visitors to buy products now in order to increase revenue the company decides to run a marketing campaign by providing a discounts by providing discounts on its products so what they do is basically they introduce one more page on their website called as the discount page they hire a seo who helps them to register this page on various search engines like bing google yahoo rediff etc now in some days time the page gets registered on various search engines and the discounted page starts uh, getting direct hits you know from the search engines now after some days you know the company decides that you know uh, it doesn't want to it, it doesn't want to continue with its discount thing so it basically wants to remove the discounts page now while the company wants to stop the discount campaign they do not want to lose the direct hits which they are which they are getting from this discount page now they have two options for this the first option is that basically they can copy the pro the data what is there of the products page to the discount page or the second thing is you know they can provide a response dot redirect to the products page now the first option that is uh, basically copying the products page to the discount page copying the products page data on the discount page uh, can be a problem uh, why because you know the search engines can penalize for duplicate contents it's very much possible that the discounted page which is now been listed into various search engines like bing google yahoo rediff etc they can get they can get delisted so you know that would really uh, completely make your seo marketing effect zero now the second option is again a problem you know the the option you know where we discussed about using response or redirect you know rather than copying the contents of the products page to the discounts page why it is a problem let's take this instance you know let's say that the search engine has come to a website and it's it probably wants to crawl all the pages and wants to index them so it goes and it sends a http get or a post request to your discount page saying that he wants to crawl the data of discount discount page now the discount page uh, has a response to redirect statement so what it does is it sends out a http 302 status to the search engine now this http 302 status you know has a lot of meanings for the search engine the http 302 status says to the search engine is that the discounted page has been redirected temporarily to the products page so in other words you know what the search engine expects is that next time when he comes to crawl to the discount page he is going to expect some kind of uh, data or he is going to expect you know that the discount page should not do any more redirect now if the next time when the search engine comes and if you find a redirect then probably it will penalize you for duplicate contents so in other words you know the response or redirect is really not a way uh, you know to solve this current problem you know where you want the users of the discount page to be uh, preserved and as well as you want that the data to be redirected to the products page the solution to this is to use response dot redirect permanent so let's try to demonstrate uh, you know the same theory what we have discussed till now using a sample project so what we have done what i have done over here is you know i have uh, basically created a simple project here using visual studio 2010 and I have created two pages here. One is the redirect page.aspx and the other one is a webform1.aspx. And what we'll do is, you know, from the webform1.aspx, we will redirect to the redirect page.aspx using three ways. One is by using response.redirect. So you can see that I have a button here which basically will use the response.redirect statement. The other button will use the response.redirect permanent statement. And in case you have, you know, the old ASP.NET, let's say that you want to uh, do a response or redirect permanent using the old ASP.NET way then I have an old button over here also to show that how to do it so basically what we'll be doing is you know from this webform1.aspx we'll be redirecting to the redirect page.aspx using three methodologies and what we'll do is you know we will also run a small sniffer to see that how the HTTP status code actually works internally now if you go to each of these buttons for example if I go to response or redirect so you can see that you know basically I'm using the response or redirect statement if you go to the response or redirect permanent button you will see that I'm using the response or redirect permanent statement so in order to do the response or redirect permanent you have to use the redirect permanent function of the response object now in case you have old ASP in case you are using ASP.NET 3.5 or 2.0 what you can do is you can you can use you can set the response or status manually and you can use the response or redirect location it will have the same effect as you have for response to redirect permanent so what we'll do is now let's run this project and let's try to use a HTTP sniffer you know to see that how what actually happens internally you know how are how are those HTTP status code exchanged between the browser as well as the web server 
So here's my application which is running and you can see that there are three buttons over here uh, as we have discussed in our sample code. Now what I'll do is I'll go and I will run my HTTP sniffer here. So this HTTP sniffer will basically tell me you know how the exchanges of messages are taking place between the browser as well as my ASP.NET web server. So let me just go to debug program and uh, basically let me just go to Firefox and say run and debug. So basically now this HTTP sniffer is basically attached to my website. If you want you can download the HTTP sniffer from www.xibl.com you know that's where uh, I've got it from. Uh, so basically it's a free software and it's it's a really nice software which helps you to detect what kind of uh, message data has been exchanged between your web server and your uh, browser. So what I'll do is first I will click on the response or redirect statement. You can see that once we have basically clicked on the response or redirect statement, uh, you can see that on the HTTP sniffer you can see that we have got a 302 uh, status which means that you know basically that this page has been shifted temporarily so it, it's, it's a temporary shift so what happens is the the search engine basically thinks that you know must be that the next time when I come to crawl this page you know I should be getting some kind of data on this page and in case it doesn't get it it's possible that you know the the search engine can uh, put up a, a penalization on the site uh, stating that you know uh, that this is a duplicate content. Now what I'll do is, uh, now that we have done the response or redirect, let's go and click on response or redirect permanent. So if I go to the HTTP sniffer, you can see that now the time we have used response or redirect permanent, it has a 301 moved permanently message. So what it says is that basically, uh, you know, any kind of redirection which, uh, you know, which, uh, which happens on this page uh, is permanent and basically the search engine can update its listing by directly providing the page, the end page URL, that means your response or redirect page URL, you know, rather than the main, the first page. So over here, you know, basically what happens is the the search engine, you know, updates its database uh, with the permanent, the new page name, and removes the old page from the URL. So anybody who comes to the old page, what it will do is it will check its mapping, and it will directly come to the come to the new new page URL. And the very important point is that the search engine will not penalize you for duplicate data. Why? Because now we have already said that you know basically this is a permanent redirect. In the same way we had a third button over here basically which was using the old version of uh, in case you are using 3.5 version. So we can use the response.status uh, command you know to provide the 301 message uh, manually. So even if you click this you know you will get the same kind of output which you have got for uh, the first message the first responder redirect permanent message. So you can see that basically again the same thing over here that it provides a 301 moved permanently status code to the search engines or to the browser. So uh, that's all about a response or redirect permanent. So in other words, uh, specifically, you know, if you have a page which is already having a lot of hits and you are thinking about modifying that page with some new page name, it's it's better to do a response or redirect permanent rather than doing a response or redirect, you know, because it will affect uh, your SEO listing and it will also affect uh, basically uh, you know uh, the the current page listing into the search engines. So I hope that you know this uh, tutorial was useful, and uh, we'll see more such ASP.NET 4.0 features in the coming up videos. Thanks for it.